Okay, we're back uh, with the M51 processing flow, and when we left, we had done deconvolution on the luminance, and now we're going to do the histogram transformation and some noise reduction, and then we will um, have a final image that we'll save and take into Photoshop. So we will reset the screen transfer function, and then down here we're going to, to zoom in here, and we're going to bring this down quite a bit. I guess about to there. And then you want to brighten up the background. And you put it over into here. So you grab this triangle. It goes up at the bottom here in the histogram transformation function. And then once it's in here, you click on this triangle and apply it to the picture. And you'll get this white mess. And down here, there's this little screen icon. You click that to make it go away. You reset the histogram. And this is now permanently stretched. So you've altered the image up. Everything up till now, we were in the linear um, stage of the image. Now we've stretched it and it's non-linear. Uh, we've got quite a bit of a floor here. So I will drag this over to about there and apply it. And this is our image. Now, this part of the galaxy is still a little bit too bright for me. I think you're going to have trouble kind of getting color into here. So um, what I do is I use this script under utilities called gain. And it brings up this window and you can zoom in and I'll delete that one. And you click add and you get this little uh, icon here and you can stretch it to create an ellipsoid or a circle for the area that you want to work on. It's going to create a mask for the area that you highlight. So I'm just going to work on this central part of the galaxy. When um, I, may, I, do, I use a gradient mask. You can use a, a luminance mask and then run convolution on the luminance, but I usually use a gradient mask. And I click OK. And for reasons I do not understand, it makes your mask and your image very big. So I just click this, uh, these two again. And then I'm going to apply this mask to my image. And I will save this mask over here. And if you zoom in and do mask, show mask you can see that we've just highlighted this so I am then going to click on the uh, um, preview this is a real-time preview I click on that and it brings up this window you then click on this kind of square within a square icon and you drag and draw a square and it zooms in I then again look at this area here and I'm going to pull this down about there. Again, this is where it's up to you, but I've got a lot of detail here, but now it's in a state that I'm going to be able to apply some color to. If this gets too bright, if your luminance is too bright, you just get washed out color. So I like this. Um, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to quit the preview. I don't want to do that. Click the preview and apply this and I've done that. I guess I can kind of get rid of this preview too. It's from the previous step. And I can then remove that mask. Now if I look at this in here, right down in the middle, there's still a lot of detail there. So I will come over to script and run the game script again and I'll delete this and I will use the scroll wheel to zoom in and then I'm going to add and I'm going to make a much smaller uh, circle here. You want to make it a, a little bit bigger than the object you're trying to work on. Get 
that. Click OK. I'm going to get a new mask. And it's going to make everything big again. And I'm going to make everything small again. And then I'm going to apply this mask to the image. And I will save this mask over here. And the same thing, real-time preview. Oops, I'm doing a real-time preview on the mask. I want to click on the image, then do real-time preview. Click on this icon, draw a square, and same thing. Now I start pulling down that image in there. And you can see there's a lot of detail you can bring out in that core there. You end up with a, a little tiny core here, but Anyway, that's what I like to do. I just, if you um, do this, quit the preview, apply it, reset my function. Again, if I go back, I mean, it's not too bad the way it was, but it's up to you. Again, no real right answer here. It, it works pretty well, but I prefer this because we're going to be able to get some nice detail and color in the uh, core there. Okay, so that's done, and the next thing I'm going to do is use this TGV denoise, and this is for the luminance, the RGBK, and these again are some settings that I find usually work with me. I don't run a lot of TGV denoise on my luminance, but what I tend to do is reuse the decon mask and I'll apply that mask. Again, if you click on the mask and show the mask, you can see that it's highlighting that. And actually, you want the opposite of this. So you go to mask and invert the mask, and you're going to protect the galaxy and do noise reduction on the background. So mask, show mask, and then just apply the TGVD noise. And this doesn't take quite as long. Um, I do a lot more denoise on my uh, on my RGB. Usually, I do you know up to nine hours of luminance. So I, you know the background usually isn't that noisy to begin with. So my settings uh, just uh, aren't set that high. When I do my RGB, uh, I tend to to hit that a little bit a uh, little bit harder. Um, but anyway, you can see the settings I use over here. You can pause the recording and copy these down. Uh, you can play with these sliders, but again, I just kind of have a set of settings that work for almost all my images. Every now and then I have to play with these, but for, for now, that's fine. And I'll quit that. And mask, remove mask. And I'm done. I have an image. You can see the... Uh, you can see the histogram here. It's not clipped. Uh, the background looks pretty dark, but hey, it's telling me that that's the way it is. If I make it any, you know, brighter, it, you know, it, it looks a little bit wrong. But this is what I have. This is my final image, and I'm going to take this over into uh, Photoshop. And so I'm going to come up to File, Save As. And I'm going to go to my M551 flow. I'll go down here under Integrated. And I will save this as a TIFF. Click Save. And you need to save it as a 16-bit unsigned integer if you want to open it in Photoshop. And I click OK. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to remember this clone that I made. And usually what I've found is if you come over to this, and you put the cursor over here and, and right-click and do Load History Explorer, you get this History Explorer for the RGB, or the Luminous that we just worked on. So if I look at this one, remember, we just ran Convolution on that. So um, we can highlight this. And usually what I've done, we've done decon, and I can apply the same histogram transfer function 
that I did to this, the copy, and then I apply this, and I've got that. Then I will come over here and apply this mask, drag this into here, and then I will remove that mask and use this mask, apply it, and apply this. Okay, and then remove that mask, apply the decon mask, mask, invert mask, and then come down here and run TGDD noise. So, again, since we made a copy, um, pretty much everything else usually works the same. So I do the same thing to the copy that I made where I ran deconvolution. 20 cycles instead of 10 and um, when deconvolution is done on that I will save that file also so um, I'll just remove the mask and then come over here to file save as and we've saved the M51L and you can name this M51L underscore um, uh, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to call it decon. I know we ran decon on both, but uh, maybe decon 20. Um, and then click save. So now I've got, uh, and again, don't forget 16 bit. Click OK. And so I am done now with my luminance. I have a master luminance that has been output as a TIFF file, and I will eventually use that in Photoshop. I'm going to stop here, and when we come back, I will attack the uh, RGB. We'll do RGB combination and uh, work on getting a master RGB that we will output, and we will be done, I will be done in Photoshop at that point, uh, in PixInsight at that point, and move over to Photoshop. So again, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.